say. A new world order. New world order. A 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 new world order. New world order. That order and progress can only come when individuals surrender their rights to an all-powerful sovereign. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. Yo, what is up? It's your boy Drew. Checking out that Drew World Order Live. 44th birthday edition, baby. Throw up that 44 for me in the chat, please. Get to spend it with all you guys. It's kind of cool to me that I was stuck on, what, like 5,000 subscribers for like two years. But now, I'll, I'll, like most of you guys have been riding with me now for a couple years, so appreciate that. <laughs> Robin's in the house. You got roasted, Michael Abram, DD Crypto Alchemist, B Smiley, Golden Renaissance Productions, Jared Board, my wife Layla, Abram, David. I see you guys. I see you. Um, we need some more light or something here. What's going on with the camera thing? Let's see if EBT's trying to get up tonight. We'll see. We'll see what he's up to. But I guess uh, I kind of touched on this a little bit the last time I was uh, streaming. And it's kind of this this don't judge mentality that's out here. <laughs> this is the author of this uh, article I pulled up. He says it's toxic to society. And I agree. Uh, what I see the most is when I'm when I'm doing this, what I'm doing out here, kind of pushing back against some of these creators. That's the that's the number one thing I get is who are you to judge, and not only who are you is don't judge. They say you shouldn't be allowed to judge, and and it's actually the worst thing you can possibly do in society. Yeah, I can turn my mic up. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Let's get into this Ableton. Let's see where I'm at. Hey, hey, hey. Let me turn my gain up. How's that? It sounds really hot in my headphones, so. Hey, how's that, guys? I'm coming through a... This is my Ableton voice chain i got all kinds of stuff going on depending on what i'm doing in here i'm coming through a glue compressor into a little eq with the high boost right now i have all this other stuff off you want a little you want a little, a little gentle, gentle echo? echo i got, I got the, gentle the gentle echo hey we can we can run it through an amp anti-pain that shit hey we don't need all that but let's make sure it's good it's clean, they say. Okay. They're judging me. <laughs> Don't judge me, y'all. Um, just going to read this article real quick. Because what I did is I kind of typed in the the Google. The Google Nader. I typed in, like, Don't Judge, right? And I was looking for more. I thought there'd be more articles like this. And it's actually, that's not the case. It's actually articles that say you shouldn't judge at all that's kind of the narrative and then you look at how society is today let me change this filter hold on a second one more how about this one? Ooh, there we go little elton little elton john looking hold on can we get some more light I need some light a little bit better a little bit um let me read this one quick and then we'll go through a couple other things Let's see if EBT is around or not. If not, I'm going to need you guys to share me. Yeah, uh, Tartarian Truth is in the house. Actually, before I start on this, since I just saw Tartarian Truth, 
Tartarian troop? Yeah. I don't consider him a friend. But but here at Chalk Body Outline, we do. Um, it was, this dude, Niven, just posted this video. I didn't even understand what he was talking about. It says, like, cat's eye programming via Tartarian Truth, Edgar Reyes, CBO, Archaics, etc. First, let me say this, man. Shout out to Edgar Reyes. I kind of came at him. <laughs> I put his whole MGTOW maniac on blast. And he, he took it like a champ. He wasn't weird about it. He was like just comical about it in the in the comments, which that tells me he's a pretty normal person. The other one that did that was Square Peg. She was pretty like normal about getting roasted a little bit. That says a lot to me on how someone handles that kind of thing. Uh, this channel called Niven says we are, I think what he's saying is we're reversos. Me, Tartarian Truth, EBT, and Archaics even. Appreciate you see me rolling. I see I see you I see you balling, bro. Niven says it's an all female detective agency. Acronym Cat Eyes. I don't know what that means. Sounds like the truth community, top ranking content creators, a female detective agency. Not sure, man. <laughs> I'm not sure where he's going with this. He also says the AIX via Archaics. Well, we know the extra X chromosome and how that fits into the and androgene. For example, Russell Brand was the self-proclaimed Brand X. These are just simple clues to decode the program. So I would play it, but there's not much to even like show you. However, this guy, I've always said this guy autodidactic i call him auntie autodidactic definitely looks like a woman i don't know what's up with that dude and he was suggesting in the comments here this niven guy that tartarian truth because of his he's like a little female with a fake beard on or something like that tartarian truth would you like to address the the claims that you are a reverso in a fake beard i don't know but anyway, let's get back to, if you want to watch that, that's the channel called Niven. It didn't make much sense to me. I, did, I want to read this about the judgment because that's the number one comment I get when I come at these people is how dare you judge these people. And let me know if the mic's good too. I'm pretty sure you guys said it was, but I want to, I want to double check. Um, But here's the, the one and only article I could find without like searching for an eternity that uh was reasonable about it 44 tonight throw up the 4-4 in the chat i am drinking wine i haven't drank in i don't know almost like two years i feel like i don't think i've even had a drink the wife made dinner and a cake tonight and i've been just drinking some wine it's a good night so if i if i seem a little tipsy i might be volume can go up more b smiley says Okay, it must be that uh, that glue filter I got on because the glue compressor, it sounds really loud to me. Let me go up a little more, I guess. Man, I don't want to go much higher than this right here. I never generally go more than this. Maybe I'll just get closer to the mic. But without further ado, let's get into this finally. The Don't Judgment article. This has some good insights, I thought. it's he. This dude writes, um, Share your political convictions in print, and you may reasonably expect some limited criticism with various levels of rationality and civility. Dare open your mouth about the opposite sex, however, and suddenly you are a heretic before the howling mob of the Athenian assembly. You are to be burned at the stake of Tate Plaza as a warning to all who would consider committing the same sacrilege. Drinking hemlock is too kind a of fate for you, as you have not simply broken some law, you have broken one of society's most fundamental conventions. You have judged your fellow man. Now, this was written in 2013, so I'd say it's much worse 10 years later now. It is supposed to, it is a supposed sin that at least one poor soul seems to commit every year in this paper. 
Last year, Keith Laudo was unceremoniously lambasted for his critique of women's fashion. This year, Megan Smith drew ire for her statements on a male bus etiquette. I think this is like a college newspaper or something like that. Who is she to judge men for their actions? And he says an independent woman capable of judging and correct to do so. What right does he have to judge women for how they present themselves and their choice of clothing? And this writer says every right. Set aside all questions regarding the substance and scope of the judgments themselves. Where there are errors in their convictions. Example, hasty generalizations or irrational, irrational, I can't even say that word, irrational premises. Those errors deserve refutation but such errors are not the primary source of public backlash the most virulent criticism stems from the fact that they hold convictions and issued judgments at all that's what i see <laughs> they're they're mad that you're judging um the chat saying it too they're saying everyone has their own truth that's what they read in the comments people say what is your truth and everyone has the their own truth well, that's not true. We're in a shared reality. There are right and wrong. What it, what it ultimately this gets into is moral relativism. We're in a moral relativism society. Judgment has gone out the window and people are allowing evil to take control of the world without saying anything. So, oh, I was gonna get I was gonna get Grandma Oni's picture to show Grandma Oni's picture tonight. Shout out to Grandma Oni, rest in peace. But back in my grandma's day, Grandma Oni, she would when the other kids would come over and play, like those kids would get beat by Grandma Oni, right? <laughs> if they were acting up. But nowadays, you would never dare touch another child's kids because sometimes it it can go too far and it. And because a lot of people don't have the ability to judge something rationally and have a punishment that fits the crime rationally and stuff like that. People are people are too far gone nowadays. But let me go back to this one quick. It says, um, they were mad they hold convictions and issue judgment. He goes on to say, they evaluated the behaviors of others, discriminated between the behaviors of which they did and did not approve or simply which they preferred over its alternatives and made that judgment known. Yet in our society, it has become something of a taboo to judge another, not simply to judge poorly, irrationally, or unjustly, but to judge in any capacity. That's what I see. They don't care if you're a legitimate judge. They just don't want you to judge. The shouted precept of don't judge can actually be translated into two alternatives. And this is what I thought was gold here in this article he breaks it down to what they actually mean when they say don't judge is they mean do not judge me as if to avoid being confronted with their own faults by rational judges or they mean don't make me judge as if to avoid the necessity of being a rational judge and he says that's a necessity just like you got to judge between poison and nutritious food I would add a third one to this myself. I would say they don't really truly mean don't judge, even though they do say don't judge. What they really mean when they say this in these comments and when, when you see all this stuff out here, they mean praise only. They, because they've made a judgment of what they like and the channels they like and they follow, and they're willing to go in there and praise these channels, which that's fine. But when you come in and with with a different opinion, they're unable to handle that, and now you're they're condemning you as a judge. It is this sort of moral agnosticism in our society today that would have us treat as moral equivalents the man enjoying a few drinks after a hard week's work and the mindless sot intentionally drinking himself beyond a super beyond a stupor the man fallen on hard times and the useless bum who prefers to beg than to work 
the man or woman who sleeps with the person they love and those who move indiscriminately from partner to partner without reservation, the failure to judge and the advocacy against judging places the good and evil, the righteous and the damnable, the admirable and the contemptible on the same plane. It is only the latter in each of those cases that benefits by refusing to judge. Absolutely. And I agree a hundred percent with that. Like moral relativism leads to what we see today in society. Drag queen story hour. Um, politicians that don't hold up their end of the deal. Everything. You're not allowed to judge them. For example, if you're a Democrat and you vote these Democrats in and they don't get done what you wanted, you're not allowed to judge that. Same for the Republican and everything like that. And after many generations of that, you can see like how bad it has been for everyone. Oh, EBT says he's in the dang on the dang on voice cringe. Let's see. What's up? No sound, bro. No sound. Oh, 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 oh. 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 It's EBT really enslaved, enslaved, enslaved by truth, everybody. Happy, Happy birthday, Drew. Drew. Happy, Happy birthday, Drew. Yeah, I'm Happy one, birthday, Drew. Drew. I'm one step closer to 40. I mean, yeah, you're one, one, I mean, one, one step, step closer, closer to exiting, exiting the Matrix, Matrix bro. <laughs> That's right, bro. I'm almost out of, I'm out, almost out of the soul trap. <laughs> you're you're almost out of here. No, no, it's not, not, a, it's not, not a, soul a soul trap. trap. You, 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 you agreed to come well, that's what the soul trap says, that you agreed to come here. Yeah, damn it, damn it. <laughs> you must be talking about our boy Saul Luckman. I read his little uh, <laughs> his little thing tonight. Appreciate you, Toilet Bowl. Um, real quick, because I never drink. I'm drinking I'm drinking some wine tonight. Uh, he's on that right. I'm pretty deep I'm into this bottle right of wine. Today. You sound like you're coming through the webcam audio. Yeah, yeah, I could, could be, be a little, little, let me, uh, let me check, check them settings, settings real quick. Uh, let's see here. Uh, have voice and audio. audio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're, you're right. right. Uh, what about, about now? What about now? now? Just like Matt May. You look like him and you troubleshoot just like him. Troubleshooting live right, right there, there, okay? okay. Live this, this is why I get paid, paid the big bucks. Buck. <laughs> he said... It's hard to find good help. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he found, found it. it yeah, yeah, I guess. guess. <laughs> did you see? Did you see the um, little trailer the dude made tonight? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah terrible, terrible dude. dude. Like, like that what? Was pretty bad. Or did, did you do you, you that on like Windows, Windows Movie Maker, Maker or, or some, some shit? <laughs> hey, they got to keep up with my intro. I, I kind of fucked him with the intro. He's like, shit. Okay. okay. To me, you're not too loud. I don't know what the chat says. To me, it's coming in good. Chat, chat saying, saying I'm too, too loud. loud. Too loud and echoing like mad. I don't hear an echo at all. Hold on. Let me. It's probably in my settings. Hold on a second. It does this every time I restart. How do I do this? Um, Hold on. No, it's it's set up right for me. So maybe it's you. Uh, how, how we sounding? Sound to me, you sound clear, perfect. Still, Still got, got an, an echo. echo. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, Too loud and an echo for EBT. What's going on? What, what is, is going, going on here? Let me, Let me see. Make, make me make sure, sure I don't, don't have, have something. something. Sorry, folks. Uh, uh, let, let me just, just keep, keep on, on talking, talking here, here until I'm not there we go. echoing I got anymore. it. I fixed yeah. it. Got it. Are we good? Yeah. Why is it doing that on mine? Hold on, let me. It should be good. It was coming through two, two different channels of OBS. Mm. How we doing, chat? Echo, echo. Better. Echo. JT says better. We fixed it. Sorry, better. guys. That was my fault. Better. See when I when I uh, when I restart this computer now, like the settings get weird. I don't know why it does that. But anyway, it's it's fixed now. They said it's good. Okay, I hope we're good. I hope we're good. Coming to you loud and clear, right? Sounds good to me. There we go. Yeah, see, we don't have a Matt Bay. 
We don't have a Matt May. We do <laughs> you you are around. the Matt May here. <laughs> what are you drinking? Mm, I'm drinking whiskey and, and Milo sweet tea. Mm. My favorite. Yeah, That's whiskey my favorite, sounds good. Favorite mix. I haven't drank in a while, so I'm, I'll start slow with the wine. What do you got? You got some box wine or what are we Yeah, doing some bullshit. That? that big, it was a big dumb jug for like $12. There you go. There you go. It tastes, it tastes good, though. The ba- Barefoot Rose, it's called. Barefoot. Okay. All right. Some bitch wine. Yeah. All right. The, it's, All the, right. it's the mom wine, right? I can feel it. Shout maybe, out to maybe, Robin. Maybe Courtney will be in here. She'll, she'll, maybe she'll get on some <laughs> wine with this, too. she always be on that wine. Now, to me, you sound a little quiet. I don't know how you sound to the chat. A little quiet. I mean, I could. I I turn my I turn my down. Turn it up on my end a little bit. Me me. Uh, what about now? What do you? What about now? What about now? To me, that sounds good. We're gonna have to. Sounds good. All right. So you want to talk shit about archaics or what? (laughs) I don't. I don't know. I mean, we do whatever we want to do. Yeah, Uh, I think. No, I'm. I'm just kidding. But I'm not. Um. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, I'm always, I'm always down to talk shit about this dude, because like, uh, I don't know. Let's just be honest, though, and maybe he'll see this because he, I know he'll see this. I know he watches this. Oh, but let's just absolutely. be honest. He does make us Arthur fist every time we watch every single one of them fucking streams. <laughs> we do be getting triggered, but not in the way that he thinks we're getting triggered, right? Now they're saying you're you're coming in a little hot, I'm getting different. coming in hot now. I'm di- getting different, okay. uh, different things. I got a different, people. I got a different mic, and I, I don't know if I don't have it set up right yet. How about now? I turn it down a little percentage. Turn it down a little Let's percentage. See. Smiley says he 100 percent watches. <laughs> All right, we got to get him on the show because now Who, they're saying, Jason? "Okay, you're too loud, and I'm mumbling." Well, I'm a few. Lord have. Lord have mercy. Come on now. You guys are just like uh, asking too much of us now. I'm a few drinks in. I'm going to be mumbling. I've been drinking for a few hours now. Yeah, I'm peeking like a motherfucker. Harsh? What do you say? Uh, I got this new mic, so it's probably all fucked up. Let me turn my gain down a little bit. What do you guys think about now? How about that? Let me turn it down to 33%. 33 percent gain and these people how do you are like picky. it at, how do you like it at 33 percent? i don't know fuck it let's go let's go man um <laughs> now you told me to go and watch the saul luckman one which i still didn't watch uh yeah the saul luckman one of the i think it was a couple ones back now i don't know he he's he's doing that saul luckman's doing other videos with uh their errands now but yeah he did that recent one he did with jason was real good because it was like a a good overview of like all the main points of the archaic theory or whatever the fuck it is all the bullshit know? but yeah but um i thought it was really good because like saul like was really asking the right questions to really not intentionally. He didn't know he's doing it intentionally, but asked him a lot of good questions that were bringing out all the real big contradictions of the entire theory. Well, this Saul Luckman, I, st- I started looking into him. So if, I don't know if you guys have ever seen him in the chat. It's he j- he doesn't have a picture or anything. It's like a painting for his Whoa. face. Archaic's been on him a couple times and. I kind of started digging on that guy a little bit because when you don't show your face, to me, that's kind of, you know, I'm a little skeptical there. Sus, yeah. And I was able to go back as, like, um, you know, you guys call me Gumshoe, Gumshoe Drew. I was going, Judge way, Drew I was going over here. way back. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, speaking of which, shout out to Benton. I was going to try to get my potato avatar set up tonight <laughs> so that we would be a real quality, high quality professional stream. I was hoping I could be a judge potato. Uh, yeah, I couldn't get that, the tech we're not to work that right good yet. Yeah, I sent Matt May a message. Maybe he can. Uh, <laughs> he can make us a, tr- a trailer <laughs> with like no talking, just some music. <laughs> some um, music. I went, I went down. I looked into Saul Luckman, 
I went as far back. I've, he's this dude is like the ultimate like spiritual grifter. He's got like ten different websites selling his paintings and all kinds of books, spiritual courses, and uh, I went as far okay. back as to two thousand five to try to find like his uh, who he is. And I, w- I was unable found? to find it after. I, I, b- I bet I could with a couple more hours of time, but I wasn't able to like find who he was. But as far well, back so, like, as like one of his big things is he's a fiction fiction writer, right? And yeah, I think that's where the but interaction between him and Jason whole, gets interesting. His whole time he's been anonymous, and he is a he is a fiction writer on the internet. So he has um he has these things he sells. They're called um. God, I should pull it up. It's uh, tuning forks. You buy these tuning forks from them. It costs 300 bucks, and you get a book. And it will, like, tune your DNA to, like, your potential. And he calls it, like, the potential. I don't I don't remember the exact name now. You got Let's the tun- it... tuna forks? The inner tuner forks? Yep. And what he does is he... I'm going to grab a drink. Hold it down. I'm gonna hold Birthday it down. Birthday stream, we're going, we're going hard. Brb. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it on the phone. When I, what I was do, looking up, he sells a set of tuning forks that's set to another. Uh, it's, it's called the Solfagio scale, and it's to, it doesn't activate your DNA, but supposedly it potentiates your DNA. Whatever that means, I'm not sure what that means. That's what he says. It's called the Professional Regenics Kit. It comes with a book or an ebook. It comes with a velvet pouch. It's 300 bucks. You get these full set of tuning forks. You get a puck that you can strike the tuning forks with. And that's going to like potentiate your DNA. This is the Saul Luckman dude we're talking about. This is the guy that... Well, let me pull it up while this dude's waiting anyway. If you look at what he posted tonight, it's one of the, this guy's like on Jason's nuts pretty hard and he's trying to cash in on the errands, I think. Whether he believes it or not, I'm not sure, but he definitely is, since I said from 2005, he's been grifting spiritual things online. Here's what he wrote tonight. He wrote, The Soul Trap PSYOP, regardless of how it started, devolved as a way of instilling victim consciousness into the New Ager community members who were on the verge of standing in their own true creative power. The debatable necessity of being here until the end of the sim likely hinges, for what it's worth in my opinion, on a decision that was made prior to entry here to commit to the full sim. You get what you pay slash ask for. That doesn't fit the definition of a trap at all. Since it's an exercise of free will, I'm also in the process of exploring ways to prematurely exit the sim that has nothing to do with not reincarnating as agreed upon with full disclosure. Stay tuned. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I mean, what what the hell is this guy talking about, man? Dude, uh, God, I can't, couldn't stop thinking about that all day. How ridiculous that statement is in and of itself. He's gonna he th- exit the sim, but he says it's not the archaic theory of the soul trap or of the of the simulacrum is not the same as the soul trap. Yes, yes, it is, dude. It's a hundred percent the same exact thing. It is the same exact thing. Well, and you, and, you and none of them over even and over, them, and over even even themselves don't even understand it. No, they could, don't understand it. Because I know I noticed when this Soul Luckman talks, when he was like talking, he did he did that video the other day. Like, uh, it was a trigger warning. There is abundant information uh, to prove the uh, simulation theory of Jason or whatever and all this shit or whatever. But then he keeps on interchanging the simulacrum with the simulation, and uh, and it's like. I don't think necessarily in Jason's uh, and Jason doesn't even have that worked out yet either. Like he just says words <laughs> <laughs> like, and they, you know, like he just says words and they're supposed to mean something. And it's, I find it so hilarious that people that become errants 
start like mispronouncing the words the same way that Jason mispronounces the words. Oh, and they spell <laughs> it. Jason. They spell it that way now. They smell it. <laughs> spell it similicrum, and they say it similicrum. Uh, yeah, shout out to Santos for at least correcting him on that dumb shit. Oh, I bet Santos hates him, bro. Yeah, I mean, it's so ridiculous. But, yeah, I've been pondering over that whole, that just that old paragraph that he wrote and how ridiculous it is. Uh, you've bought into this complete science fiction nonsense thing that there's absolutely nothing that proves this, okay? I don't care what dates you cherry-picked out of history and then you're gonna say history is all a lie and it never happened anyways but you're gonna say that you picked out these dates and the the phoenix cycle doesn't even make sense right because there was originally there's there's multiples of them right it's not always been 138 there was like a five five hundred and fifty two or something that's there was a 552 year cycle and then the the pap the papis how does he say it papacy the papacy hid the tr- the first Phoenix cycle of 552 years uh, with the Gregorian, with the Addo Domine calendar or whatever, somehow or whatever, you know, even though the world didn't accept. And like there's all these other cultures that weren't under any kind of influence from from the Roman church, if you want to call it the Roman church. There's all these other calendars that existed, right? This idea that he's somehow a chronologist is the most ridiculous thing that I think I've ever heard. Um, and I think that I I really would like to see more people come out that really are uh, knowledgeable in, like, Fominko. One guy that I think maybe I – I think it would be interesting to, to maybe get in contact with him and send him some stuff. But there's that Jonathan Mac Times or whatever, but he did some – he read out like the entire Fomico book on on his channel, uh, and then went through and broke down like each individual chapter, and like went through the whole thing. It's a huge playlist that he has on it, right? But uh, when you hear Jason talk about chronology, it's clear that he has no idea what the fuck he's talking about, because he just took established dates out of books and put them in his own book. And created a chart, right? And that's it. that doesn't make you a chronologist, okay? Um, and then somehow that there's this uh, reoccurring loop within your date system is something that he's taking from Fomenko to an extent, even though I don't think he, he I don't think he's ever read Fomenko. I, I think it's very clear. But he's taking this idea. Now, I guess this is going to be Archaics 2.0. Okay, so this yeah, what is the he new. Says he's the got new... another one coming up. Yes, yeah, so so, at, there's Archaics 2.0 coming out now. He dropped he dropped like a little teaser on the end of that one of those last question and answer videos, right? And so now, all these events uh, that built the theory, they're not actual history. None of it ev- ever actually happened. It's just proof of the simulation. Right, so like the simulation backdated it in there or something. Is that what he said? Well, well, I think what he's going at is that the idea that there's this cyclical nature in it, right? Because he's cherry picked enough data to where he can say in 138 years, and he, but that's that's the thing that really gets me is he can't even say that every 138 years there's this thing. No, because sometimes if you it look doesn't at his happen. charts. If you look at his charts, there's these huge gaps. It does or doesn't happen every 138 years. It doesn't. It doesn't. It no, could I, happen. No, in, I know. I'm saying in, in his own theory, it sometimes it doesn't even happen. Sometimes it doesn't even happen. Yeah. Or nobody so even, nobody knows about? that it happens. Like, or it's a multiple of 138. Basically, he couldn't find enough information for every 138 years to make the theory make sense. So he's picked out enough dates to where he can try to make the theory make sense, which it really doesn't, which it's really mind boggling how people buy into this bullshit because he's not even really even saying anything like the 1902 is the biggest. Oh, it's bullshit. Is the, is the biggest bullshit part of his entire theory, right? Like, um, <laughs> it, There's, it just blows there, my yeah, mind. Like, uh, okay, but so go ahead, go ahead. So back to Fominko and how this ties into with Jason. 
So Fominko, the way he goes about it, right? And Fominko actually does really study chronology, okay? And I think anybody that's attacking this subject, nobody in the errant community understands chronology. And I'm not saying that I understand it, but I know enough about it to where I know that these people don't understand it because it's extremely complicated and extremely complex, right? So, like, Fominko goes into a lot about this guy, Joseph Scalinger, who is supposedly supposed to be, like, the father of modern chronology or whatever, uh, who was this Calvinist guy that was going against the Catholics. Um, and there was a couple other people before that that were establishing chronologies. So, like, during the time of the Protestant Reformation is really the time that a lot of, like, what we call chronology or timelines now came about, right? Like, the 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 Catholic Church didn't even have, like, a real legit chronology of popes until the Reformation. And people were like, well, who were, like, who was the, who was the, what's the lineage of all these popes? And then so, like, scholars started to make these chronologies, right? So, like, these guys start trying to backdate these things to where they can connect, like... Because, you know, like, in the Roman times, and this is one of my bigger bigger problems with Jason, too, is, like, he thinks that there's, like, somehow this magical calendar that existed through all out all time, and he can just plug in all these dates, and it all makes sense. But in Roman times, you were going by, like, who was the emperor, right? So that's how you judge what year it was or whatever, right? Because you were in the time of Julius Caesar or... or Augustine or whatever, you know, you ha you judged it by the reign of whoever's in control. Um, but the way that Fominko breaks it down in his book, New Chronology, is he says that we see these cyclical loops within what is known to us as history. And the way that he uh, analyzes that is that, well, the since we see all these reoccurring uh, cyclical mathematical dates that all coordinate with each other, the only observation that we can make from that is that it's all fake. That whatever information that we're being given is just recycled information, um, the same information with a different date, right? But Jason takes a different stance where he says, well, since we see these events happen on this cyclical timeline... He makes this huge cognitive leap that, well, that can only mean that we're within a computer simulation. And to me, that is the dumbest part of the entire theory is how you're taking stuff out of literally Encyclopedia Britannica and shit, right? Uh, that's in the 1300 books. It's like literal establishment encyclopedia books that he's taking the shit out of, right? So he he's he's not doing any chronology, right? He's not. There's no archaeology. There's no dendrochronology. There's there's no dating that he's doing in any. He's not a chronologist. He compiled shit from encyclopedias and put it in there and picked out and choose things. You know, like oh somehow uh, there was red dust or some shit on <laughs> one year or some shit. You know, like it's it's so dumb, right? That like. And then just he the his he's so masterful at choosing uh, like trigger words and keywords and stuff like reset right you know uh, reset was going to be a big thing that he knew that word was right word to choose reset because uh, yeah. it's trendy and now now he stole flush he's calling it the great flush now <laughs> yeah toilet bowl earth needs to file a copyright claim on that it's so the flush. okay so. So that long rant that I just made that, that probably didn't make any sense is what I'm saying is like I see how Fominko is right, even though Fominko is uh, uh, completely insane and his whole theory is stupid. But uh, if you actually read it, OK, and, and yeah, no, there's not a thousand missing years in Fominko's theory, which is often how he's straw manned. Right. Um, if you actually read through it, that's not exactly how it works. There's like. There's a small chunk of years that are uh, "quote unquote" missing, and that's just like through different calendar changes and stuff. It's not like this vast, huge conspiracy to where they they made all these years disappear. It's really just a matter of calculations that you know, because there is like you have to calculate for leap years and all that kind of shit. Like it's really way more complicated than anybody in the truther community 
like even like really delves into. And I'm not saying that I'm an expert. I'm just saying I know that there's more stuff to it that everybody that explains it doesn't fucking understand is what I'm saying. But I got a so question. for I got Jason a question to pick quick. out these dates and say that, well, these dates are at a certain timeline and because they fit into my preconceived timeline, that makes it a simulation is <laughs> fucking retarded. And okay? you're, in a, that's you're the, in Dennis that's Rodman's dick zapper wearing VR right. glasses. That's the proof. I got a question real quick. What's that thing you got back there that's like peeking? That little like oh, light bar a, thing. What is that? It's, a e, it's an EQ bar. Where'd you get that? It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I found, I'm a big, I'm a clearance hound. I love to go to like shop for clearance and uh, you can like even make it different colors and oh, stuff. Man. That thing's tight. Uh, and it does all kind of cool stuff. It's from Monster, like Monster. Uh, Lights and cables. You got to wear it as like a sunglasses, dude. Like the Star Trek dude. There you go. And start talking. Data. Damn, no, that's data. tight. I am from the future. <laughs> I am on Dennis Rodman's dick zapper. <laughs> I am here to tell you about uh, the Phoenix Protocol. When you when you go in, like I always say, when you go into the, what is it called? NephilimArchives.com on the Wayback Machine, you can see how none of this internet shit is in his theory. And now all the internet shit is in his theory. But he says, at the same time, he says his his entire research is unpolluted by the internet. And he didn't have the internet when he was in the clink, even though he had a porn phone with hundreds of porns on it. <laughs> hundreds of porns. From V-Porn and all that. I never even heard of that one. What kind of crazy shit did they have on Yeah, no, he mentioned all kinds of stuff I didn't even know about. Yeah, well, and I guess, I guess, did we mention that? I, we might have not mentioned that. But that was one of the weird things about that Soul Luckman guy is that back in 2005, he has a whole, he has a thing called the Phoenix yeah, program. Yeah, I meant to get into that. We've Let's go back to Saul Luckman. I'm one sorry, second. guys. This no, is, these, we're, we're ranting. Okay? We're all Just over the place. Wait, right. this isn't Saul Luckman. Where is he? I had him up. Back to back to Sol. Sorry for my chronology flamenco rant that probably made no sense to anybody. But. It's okay. It's a, it's a birthday party. Everyone's <laughs> here just to have a good time. I've been trying to sort. I've been trying to sort that one out. And I ranted about it. I'm sorry. So this dude um, thinks you can reprogram your DNA, or he sells a mm. thing to reprogram your DNA with these. Oh, with, with tuna, tuna forks for three hundred bucks. And uh, where's the No, I'm not gonna be able to find the one. I know I sent it to you. Let, let me, me go in the let me go in the DMs here. Let me hit the let me hit the do, do the thing. Notice <laughs> that it doesn't the, So in this crazy. thing, in this Saul Luckman's thing, this spiritual grifter since two thousand five, this is a testimony from someone that used his tuning forks to heal somebody. What they wrote is this. They said, as a singer and a pianist, I felt the healing properties of sound. So I was curious when I came across this work. After my session and since, I have felt a new clarity and ability to focus. Life has become more joyful and magical. I potentiated my 11-year-old son with autism this past May. Within weeks, his rash on his legs he's had for five years disappeared. We also discontinued supplements, meds he was taking for gut health and brain inflammation. His motor skills improved as well, and he is becoming more aware as the days pass. Lately, he's been becoming more consistent in his progress as school as well, and I'm getting more good days on his progress book from his teacher than difficult ones. <laughs> so you hey. buy these tuning forks, you can heal autism, basically, is the claim. He doesn't say that, obviously, because you can't say that. And, what, and they're only three hundred dollars. They're only three hundred bucks, man. Wow. Um, and when you go um, back yeah. on the Saul Luckman's um, history, and this is the guy—if you don't know who we're talking about—he shows his face as this Saul Luckman. He's got all oh, kinds Luckman. of Coomer paintings that he painted right here. Big time, oh, yeah. big time Coomer. Real per yeah, big time Coomer, dude. <laughs> He's selling that stuff for like $3,000. Oh, yeah, dude. Painting. The originals are thousands and thousands of dollars. Or $17 for the print. And, uh... 17 
I think we all know what that means. This is it. So he had something since 2005. Saul Luckman has something called the Phoenix Center for Regenetics. Do you hear that? The Phoenix Center for Regenetics. Since 2005. This is some wild shit. That's wild shit. (laughs) This dude that is his main proponent now. His Phoenix Center for Regenetics. For those with ears to hear. You can schedule your potentiation. That's with the tuning forks. Yeah, you can get potentiated. Saul and Lay at potentiation.net. Now, I was able to find this lay person. She is a teacher in Hopkins Teaching System, Minnesota, where I'm from. I don't even know what that word means. It must be it must be awesome. Potentiation. So he has the Phoenix Center for Regenetics. And he's got the logo and everything right here, the Phoenix logo. Got the dang old Firebird up in there. Oh, Firebird. Like, like, wow. Like Knight Rider, bro. Wow, bro. Oh, was that a Trans Am or was that a Firebird? Regenetics, bro. Now, Saul Luckman, I will find you. <laughs> I will find who you are and I will put it on the internet very soon. I just didn't have enough time tonight. I was doing my own thing. Yeah, that guy definitely needs a roast. Uh, I will definitely 100% find him. I had some leads. I just didn't have the time to to get into it. Samantha, appreciate you. He's been doing uh, videos now with that uh, simplicity I, revealed or whatever. I the... saw the one he did with like the skeptic or whatever that guy's name is, skeptic. Skeptical Observer, whatever the hell his name is, that Jason went on that one too. Mm, I didn't. I so didn't it, that. but 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 think of it this way: so this Saul Luckman guy has been grifting the spiritual community. He used to have a magazine called DNA Monthly. He has all this spiritual grift since two thousand five. I believe it's not far fetched to say that he came across Jason's work and the Nephilim Ar- and or the Nephilim Archive website. And they were potentially kind of plotting behind the scenes to bring all this forward now in the past. I don't think that's far fetched to say that. Okay, so it was kind of super interesting in that late latest community post that Archaics did. And he linked that video that I hadn't watched before, but I listened to it uh before we started here. And when he says that he says Matt, Jason, and a couple other people welcome you to the Archaics community. So right there, he's saying he's he's talking about the whole Archaics team. <clears throat> and I don't. Maybe we need to go back further in the lore or whatever. But I think it's very obvious that he's being fed. There that is it's a, a team. team of people I believe that there are is a team. Yeah. It's a think tank. It's a think tank, which he's which he's he's said himself in the videos, and I think it was accidentally right. Cartarian truth awesome when he with that clip that he uses lately that I'm CIA, this is my handler. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you yeah, know, but like he's Tartarian joking, truth. he's joking in that clip, but the other clip is when he legitimately says it himself. He says that he was in a cubicle working for the CIA with the Orphis program. For intelligence and, is what he says. Intelligence agencies, uh, right. Tartarian Truth, feel free to jump in here. We're just in the Discord if if you're still in here. Um, yeah, we're in the Voice Cringe channel on the Discord. Anybody, Anybody's welcome to join. It's a birthday party night, and we're getting dark. Let's go. Let's go. We're, we're tuning up our <laughs> inner tuna forks. Let's go. Let's go. The I listen to Matt scale or whatever day. the hell Matt, it's called. I dropped the, the, uh, the most important questions that we need to we need to know for life. Um, I'm feeling super enlightened. I'm feeling super enlightened tonight. It's kind of, um, I don't know, I get kind of tired talking about them, but at the same time, what else is happening in the There's whole nothing game? else happening. I feel like it's almost like, it's almost like this guy was put into our simulation. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a time thief. Is what I he's a it's a one hundred percent time thief. This is what I said when I last time I was talking to Yurt. Shout out to in a book with Yurts, aka Yurt Cobain. 
I said, <laughs> I said, I blame Matt for this guy because Matt softened him up. You wondered what the psyop was with Matt. It's like it so, wasn't it wasn't yeah. clear exactly what there was some fuckery afoot, but you couldn't tell what it was. Okay, well now it was to like soften your fucking mind into mush and allow you to accept anything is on the table. And now this guy comes and shows up with everything on the fucking table. Right, exactly. Matt was the Matt's the philosopher of it. He's right? the fluffer. He's the fluffer. He laid down the philosophy of the idea. And then Jason comes in, he's the technical guy. He's going to tell you how he Jason's can lay bull. this all out with mud data dumps. With my data dumps, through my, my dates and my times and my historical uh, record, I can prove, without a doubt, we know this for a fact, that we're within a simulation because things happened in years but because it, they, didn't the books, act, they didn't the actually said happen. they happen. Yeah, <laughs> they didn't even happen. Now, it sounds like that's right. where he's going. It's like that's backdated. So why would your books even be any good if it's well, just the see, simulations you know, changing it? You know, uh, we might have we we were wrong on our predictions. OK, we expected that our case was going to surpass Matt in by subscribers. My, my guess was year. today I picked my birthday. So, Jason, you disappointed us. What happened is you went too too hard on the, the Phalorn. The Phalorn de- was a big derailed. mistake. Derailed. The Phalorn was a big mistake. And, I, um, you know, in the... Uh, I'm going to talk to... You know, in the Catholic community, there's a bunch of people that are obsessed with Lord of the Rings, obviously. Um, but... <laughs> You're going to show lot, it to them? I'm, gonna, I'm showing it to them, and I want them to, like... And the clip of him saying that he is probably the best uh, writer in that genre ever, that he's better than Tolkien with this with the Foghorn Leghorn saga or whatever. <laughs> I, I, I tried to listen. It, that, to me, was a big, huge red flag, too. That's kind of suspicious, is that how little people went and subscribed to the Phalorn saga. Yeah, I think that like was 3, really 000, a big mistake 3, for 3,000 out of 80,000, percentage-wise, it's a dud. Right, it's a dud, and it doesn't even really make you know. You you would have think just in general the way that people fawn over this guy, you would have thought people would have just went and subbed just even if they weren't going to listen to it, they would have just went and subbed to it just just cause, right? Yeah, but there were so little people that went to that channel and subbed it, and to me that doesn't really make sense. I list I tried to listen to a couple episodes of it, and I was like, well, this is fucking retarded. You're just making up words and like, and it's not probably not even like Tolk, like Tolkien like made an entire like, like actual language. language. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's yeah. he's like uh, this guy's like Mister Bojangles went down to he's like, uh, he's to like, Willy like, Wonka Wimpa Land yeah, and he's like this this guy Decker <laughs> fell through a wormhole. He was half man, half rhinoceros. <laughs> His dick swung like a wrecking ball from a crane past his knees. He taught them agriculture and mathematics. And the Phalorn people said to him, Jason, I mean, Decker, can you help us, please? They revered him as a god. <laughs> it's, sick, it's sick shit. This, is a, this man is a sick is a Oh, sick he's a individual. sick fuck, bro. He is a sick motherfucker, you know, and uh, that fucking retard fucking uh, Jeffrey Doherty or whatever. OK, yeah, let's talk is. about that for a second. So I did watch shout out. I don't know if I want to shout this guy out or not. I'll I'll, I'll say his name. Jeffrey Daughtry. I got to pull him up, too. Yeah, he looks like uh, <laughs> he looks like when uh, Will Ferrell does the impersonation of Harry Carey. Jeffrey Dodger, his channel is called dog. Unindoctrinated. Well, I didn't realize he's a Christ hater until today. He was posting something on his community tab. He hates oh, yeah, Jesus. Dude, he, that, that was his, he used to be way bigger. I don't know what this new channel is. I think Look he at this. It's, he says it's impossible for truthers to be Christians, I guess. But besides that, let's get, get away yeah, from that. But he believes in like dumbass fucking... Pa- he thinks like pagan myths are like... Re- he thinks like Odin is... Is real or but he did shit. a video which wasn't about archaics, right? 
but it totally yeah, was. It was. <laughs> totally was, yeah. It was called The Making of a Mind Control Monster. Zone so, shout out to him for this video. I liked it. You didn't like it, right? I, I thought it was good. I mean, I liked I liked the first half of it. I thought it was really well done, the way that he was attacking the subject. And, doing, and then it really kind of went off the deep end with, like, the FEMA camp map and the fucking... And then, like, trying to tie the Vietnam uh, Mac V SOG Phoenix program to the, the Phoenix program in the jail. Like, it was... It made a bunch of huge cognitive leaps. Like, it started out great. And this is what I remember about this guy, because I used to listen to him, like, back uh, several years ago in in the midst of, like, Trump's when QAnon was big, because he, he, he used to go hard against QAnon. And it was really hilarious and funny. He was really good at breaking down QAnon and stuff. You know, he was saying that, like, it's a Bolshevik tactic and, like, he, he he was pretty funny when he would go attack Trump, but yeah, he he is a Christ hater and and uh, of of the most retarded version. Now what he, he what he did what he did here is he brought this big muscle guy that I put on my YouTube short that talked about there's a Phoenix program for sexual predators in prison, so he definitely got that from me. <laughs> oh no, he did. I mean, and the, the and I don't I don't Which is he fine. the one, is that his channel? I guess it is, right? Yeah. Which is what his channel that indoctrinated or whatever. Or... That's I remember it. his old channel. He had like, I mean, he was like a hundred thousand or something. I think I, remember I don't know, but but what he spent a lot of time talking about was about the story where yeah. the 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 Brashear story where the dude ends up in like a FEMA camp type area, and the guy with the photographic memory that can remember everything. All of a sudden, there's a guy that prayed over him. He can't remember anything of what happened in that idea, at least in his story. And also, he ran away from home because it was just too religious for him. But he, he ends up in a stranger's house with a passed-out woman. And the guy prays, puts hands on him and prays on him, and he's okay with that. The guy that ran away from home Whoa. because it was too, too much uh, religion happening there. And he was cool yeah, with that. Yeah, I mean, that, that story cool is a with huge... That a huge red flag that whole story or whatever that's a very weird story very weird story right but um so i, th- and, I, I mean i can uh, i can kind of get down with the whole theory that maybe perhaps he is some kind of from a young age is some kind of uh mind control victim or something perhaps maybe I don't. I don't know. I think it went a little. I think it went a little too far. I mean, I enjoyed it. I thought it. Was I thought great it was good. Uh, I, th- I didn't. At the end, he did say that it's possible, like that he was a voice to skull. He got chipped for voice to skull or whatever, and all it went full like gang stalker and everything. No, I would. Right, ju- you know, I like, would just say it's, it's, it's Satan. One... I would say he's an evil motherfucker, and Satan uses him as a tool, the same way God uses good people as a tool. <clears throat> yeah, he's a proxy. He's a proxy war. Is what he is. Right. That's um, what I would. I mean, either but, way, I you can't know, prove it, mine either. He, like, he can't prove his. So, the thing that I would say is that he's no different from that Jeffrey Daughtry guy, though. When I listened to the last uh, one yesterday, I think that guy put out uh, how Flat Earth has been hijacked by Christians. It was, I think, was his last video. I'm like, uh, bro, you're really you're saying the same thing that the guy that you just attacked the day before says. Well, he had him on the channel before I saw. Oh, did he really? Yeah, I think twice, possibly. For sure wow. once, maybe twice. But maybe he didn't know about this because there wasn't, like, a full stream of it anymore. There was only, like, a clip or two that I saw. Yeah, you know, I, I just don't know. I think that guy's that guy's a fucking whack but job. the whole reason I pulled it up is... Let let me play his voice just for a minute, and then hold on. You got to hear him talk. Tibbs used to select their victims. Number one, the younger, the better. No. I'm going to go on record here. I'll be the first one to say it. I think this is Jeff Snyder, too. <laughs> he has the same cadence and voice as, like, Jeff Snyder, too, and they put him in a Glenn Beck mask or something. I think this, and Jeff Snyder's channel's gone after I cursed him. So I think this is Jeff Snyder 3. Same name. If you get a person young, then you have more time to groom, to program, and to create exactly what you're looking for. Uh, Another one, poverty and hunger. 
poverty and hunger are very important factors in the selection process of MCOs. Awesome. Jeff Snyder, I'm calling it. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely the same cadence, and, and uh, there, there's definitely some major similarities there. I think it's Will Ferrell. <laughs> it's Will Ferrell in the truth community. That's where it's going next. You might as well just bring him in. Like Maybe. I'm saying, this dude used to be way the the this channel that playing those clips from is small, but I remember he used to have he used to be really big. And it's just funny because, like, one of the guys in the Discord, um, Jim Still, had been talking about this guy comparing him to Archaics for, like, weeks now. And then I guess the guy, there's um, some guy called into that, that show, that show at the end. And then it was the same guy that Jason, or it was the same guy that Benton was attacking on that recent video oh that was put. that dude what's his name yeah. uh till uh till cod or something i can't remember what it is now the un paul oh, yeah. unsaved guy or whatever the fuck his name is no 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 not paul unsaved not that um, guy but he calls into there his name i guess like, he calls into that channel his name's like yeah. till cod or some shit like that where Benton, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Benton roasted that dude hard. <laughs> he got him oh, to rage. Hard. That was, Benton that was got that dude to rage quit. Benton, so like, on, I, in a yurt with books, Benton fucking barbecued this dude pretty easily. I thoroughly enjoyed it, really. And, you know, I started that stream when it was just the, like, potato avatar guy. And I was like, oh, God, Benton, what the fuck is wrong <laughs> with you? But then once it got into it, I was like, oh, this is... This is classic Benton. Yeah, like, ben, he fucking destroyed that dude. <laughs> ben like, wrecked that dude and made him rage quit, man. <laughs> His name was Jack Talcott. Jack right? Talcott. Yeah, right. Jack yeah. Talcott. Tinfoil was in there saying, I'm Jack's raging fucking whatever. <laughs> yeah, and that guy's a total douchebag, too. Jesus yeah, like, that guy was pretty dumb. Benton pieced him up pretty easily. So shout out to Benton. Yeah, shout out to Benton. Even that though you was... don't like us anymore and you say we're not funny. We still like you, Ben. That was drama done right. <laughs> I'd have to say that was good. Was pretty good. That was good. I kind of like the way that uh, yurt man bun in a yurt or whatever the fuck. He's his pretty name is. no nonsense like moderator. Yeah, I, I kind of like the way that he does that to some extent. It's pretty good. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That whole Paul and slave community though. We got to start somewhere. Yeah, shout out to shout out to Yurt. I guess it's a uh, Yurt in a studio apartment now or something. I don't know what's going. On. Yeah, well, There's he's, no in, yurt he's in Iowa. This shit's probably like thirty below. Yeah, probably it did get pretty cold out here for a minute. Should've it was nice, got... nice today. Real nice today out here, in Chicago area. It got like thirty degrees where I'm at. Now that's cold. Hmm. He's a, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> who's jumping in this well, chat, man? I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm gonna put this like, invite I, in I'd here. I'd love again. to have like an old school, old school Discord voice cringe extravaganza. I think these people are too pussy to to get Croco, in here. Croco, be smiley. I'm gonna shout out all these. Croco, be smiley. Robin, Robin can come you know, up and see. Robin's called in before in the past. Toilable Earth. Uh, now Robin, Robin seems like a boomer, but she's like not roasted. offended let's at get, all by any of this let's crazy. Get you stuff. got boosted. Let's get you got boosted up in here. Oh yeah, uh, come, she, it's in my birthday. You got boosted. You got to come in here. You got boosted. Get up in here. Um, let's talk uh, astrophysics or some shit. <laughs> uh, good one day, Layla. Uh, Ryler 5 Get somebody up on here. You got boosted. You got boosted up in here. Yo, if this bitch you got boosted came in here right now. Boy, your computer, you got to turn down your volume. There we go. Got a couple people in here. Is this pick pick? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. What's up, Pig? Samantha. Hey. Who else is in here? JJ hey, Wolf, Brian W, Lord Dorkington, Dishloaf. 
pick. Let me see if I can fill this bitch up. Who we got? Oh. El Sensei. All right, you guys. Talk some shit. <laughs> Cartarian truth, brother. Get up in here. Cartarian truth. Cartarian truth. I don't consider him a friend. JT. JT, get him up in his here. Ilk. Who else we got? What's up, Robin? Butthole Winkler. Get hey. back in here, boy. <laughs> How are you doing, Robin? I'm doing good. How are you guys? Good, good. Oh, we got a... It's filling up, man. Let, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we got we got Stephen David in the house. What's up, Stephen David? Okay, hold up. Uh, everybody, on the count of three. Oh, Happy, birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy yeah. birthday to you. I'm going to mute all Happy of you. Happy birthday <laughs> to <laughs> you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to you, <laughs> World <laughs> Order. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to you. 44, baby. Ah. I'm getting up there. All right, we got, oh, we got Tartarian Truth. Tartarian <laughs> Truth. I, I, I don't consider him a friend. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I'm changing the litter boxes. I'm gonna rejoin when I'm done. Okay. Robbie you know what you Sky do? Killer. You know what you do? You just tape trash bags all over the house. <laughs> yeah, the, you yeah. just let the cats piss all over the house. That's how it goes, bro. Don't you know? They'll, they'll clean it eventually by themselves. It goes away, dude. David it goes Carl, away. You, just fill, you fill the whole bathtub. You fill the whole bathtub with kitty litter, and then it's like. <laughs> You yeah, gotta change that shit there. for like a couple months. What up, dude? What up, EBT? What What's up, up Steve? Toilet, Robin. Toilet uh, JT. I don't know the other people. Robin. TBE. What do you think about our cake stealing your flush? Oh. Yo. Damn. Fuck that, dude. I don't care about his stupid ass anymore. He sound tired. Uh, uh, yeah, smart. I don't care about that stupid faggot anymore. <laughs> sounds fed. Sounds fed up. Nah, uh, you sound fucked up, want, Tin Tinny. Uh, I don't want to say too much. I don't want Ben to have a meltdown. And have him make another video about me. No, he will. Well, I thought we were on a whole new tin. Yeah, <laughs> he sounds tore up. Uh, Christmas tin. Christmas tin. It's funny when I see Ben on the New Year's video. Tin, there's a gap. What? We got a New Year's tin with the uh, gap in the uh, uh, whole pledge. It's funny. It's funny to hear Ben uh, do everything that he claimed I did uh, to other people on streams by. And he does it to that Talcott guy. I just found that was I found that funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talcott but shout out, reacting. shout out to uh, you know, <laughs> hypocritical behavior. Shout out to that. Why don't you guys Good set up? You, let's buddy. set up the ultimate debate: tinfoil straight jacket versus Benton. The final battle. Maybe, let's set maybe it up. Maybe it's It's funny. It's he sits there and cries. About he had he made that one stream where he tagged us three in there, talked about uh sewing circle stuff. You know, he's talking about uh, uh being bullied and whatnot. And our whole our whole beef started with this guy coming into voice cringe and screaming at me about me being stupid and how many books he's read. <laughs> I mean, does this guy is he just like not self aware of the things he's done or he just has a bad memory? Oh, Ben! Ben read that yeah. many books. But it's just—he just—he's just the type of person that dishes it but can't take it. So, I mean, it's very clear. And I don't care. He can be that way. I don't mind. All right, hey, I, uh, I want to hear, hear from Sky Robin. Killer. I want to hear from Robin. What's up, Robin? <laughs> Can can you? Hey, I was Robin? I was wondering if you guys remember that. Great. Yeah, I'm right here. Hey, what? Hey, I, I've been watching you guys for years, but I, I'm. Hey, do you guys remember that old crazy fucker named Flat Earth Nation? Hello. No. Who's Too that? many Flat Earth people. No. Hello. 
No, I don't know who that is. Who's that? Yeah, I don't Hello. Oh, Flat Earth Nation. Hello? Uh, were they, they were they the Hello? ones that did flat smacking? No, he no no no, dude. He's the guy before our kicks. He he kind of started Black like that. Every the mouth is, is a giant. Uh, uh, he said that the canal. Was, he, he was like the crazy everything on earth. Yeah, you're break, you're cutting out. You're breaking up, giant. Your mic's cutting out. We can't hear what you're saying. You guys not remember that crazy dude? I was wondering if anybody remember <laughs> what happened to him. We can't hear what you're saying. Your mic keeps cutting out. Kegs. He's fucking fucking tear him. Gonna have to hear him. Yeah, we're gonna yeah, have to. Uh, this guy got that potato Wi-Fi. <laughs> You're in the dirt. He's just torrenting corn. Hey, kick him. Fix your Wi-Fi, dude, and come back. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want, you, you want to minimize was, your porn your mic window? Was cutting out. Or maybe <laughs> close it out. <laughs> I mean, uh, it almost sounded like he was talking about uh, what's this fuck? Jaren. Not Jaren. I, re uh, I remember that flat smacking dude, and he was annoying as fuck though. Where's uh where's uh, uh you got boosted at? Let's talk about space, guys. Come on, guys. Let's talk about space. No, I, I went out with the flex the with the flat smacking guys here in Chicago back in the day. I I went we did a at Wrigley Field at a Cubs game. We went and did flat smacking at a rig at a Cubs game. That's cringe, bro. So, cringe. So cringe. So cringe. Made I can't cringe, believe bro. I did that. Hey guys, you know what the shape of the Earth is? Oh my God! We literally oh, had signs wow. and pamphlets. You believe it? It's a globe, dude. God, You're so dude. dumb, dude. Dude, I thought I was gonna change the world by telling my people son's about a literal Earth. astrophysicist. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Robin, can you hear us? Robin's like an old boomer lady. I mean that in the best possible way, but she doesn't get offended. Like, all these other people are like, oh, can you believe what these people said? Oh, they, their words. I mean, it, talking like a second ago, like she. Is Robin, uh, you got boosted? No. 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 Maybe her sister. Yeah. I thought Maybe. for a second. Robin's from Utah. She's called in before. Yeah, no, Robin's dope. Robin's dope. Yeah, Robin's cool. You know, and I don't have a problem with you got boosted. No, I don't either. I know Tin. Call me out. Call me out, Tin. Call me out. Yeah, you that's so fucking stupid. Why? Because she got a job. Way, way to hurt shit. your credibility by 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 supporting this lame brain idiot space tard. I don't know. I think she still does some pretty good roast. She's pretty funny. She yeah. roasts. She's literally a human roast herself, dude. She can't roast anybody when, yeah, she's, roasty. <laughs> when she adopts retarded things like that. You got yeah, roasty. And, and say what who, you who, want. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? But you, none of you guys would get it anyway. So, and I advise you not to. Listen, dude. Judge, she supports. She supports children thing. getting stabby stabby. Okay. Judge, That's not the somebody you should do, support, bro. Don't you know? Judgment's the most I mean, a lot thing of you can do. do. A lot of people do. All right, we got yeah. this Robbie dude back in here. Robbie, did you fix your Wi-Fi, dude? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out right now. I'm, sounds uh, better. Sounds now. better. What were you? Uh, oh, now he's gone. Yeah, dude. Right now he's back. Are you messing with us, bro? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah. What's up? What were you talking about now? Flat Earth? What? His, he was like a 70 year old guy and it's he ne it wasn't like flat smacking he was the guy about seven years ago who started starford and he's talking about mud fossils university no 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 his name is flat earth nation mm, i don't remember and, him and he started every rock was a heart <laughs> i've heard he people crazy. say that but I mean, uh, you know, I'm familiar. I don't remember him though. I was just wondering if you, because I, I haven't heard or, like seen him in like three or four years, but I can't like. He's like he, archaics would love this dude. Was he on <laughs> IG or was he on YouTube? He was on YouTube, and it was Flat Earth Nation Del Toro or something weird. 
Mm. But but no, he he's actually the guy. Like so, they always say New Earth started Star Force. That's bullshit. It was this crazy dude, and he also went out and said every rock was a heart. And he'd go saw him off and shit. But he he also started the uh, the mud flood by saying they dug out the canal up there in between Canada and America. He. He's actually the guy who started it all, and he just disappeared like two years ago. I was wondering if he died or not. Okay, yeah, he was on, uh, uh, well, because the first time I ever heard about Mud Flood was through um, uh, UAP. And oh, yeah, UAP. they used to fight. They used to fight. Right, they were okay, now Christian I remember. Guys. Yeah. They were both Christian dudes. Yeah. But, but yeah, well, like it, it, I just was wondering. That's all I was calling in for because he was he was like he was the guy, and then our kid, like then other people jumped in, and now there's this fucking that freaky dude, fucking our ex. I bet you the Jesuit. I hadn't heard anybody mention him in forever. He legit started mud floods, star forts, and everything. He he was before mud fossils. The Jesuit. He, took he was out. like hilarious. Actually, he was fun to watch. Hold on, real quick. Dude, so Smiley, I appreciate you. Smiley threw it on but, Yeah, I was just calling to see if anybody knew if he died. I've never heard of him. I remember faintly. Yeah, dude, he was he was a fucking crazy guy. Like, but he he was living in a trailer in Denver, and he was Airport like Denver. He used to, <laughs> yeah, and he he would like yeah, dude. He he legit said that like. That Indians weren't real. I mean, dude, people fucking love this. Did UAP absolutely loved him? Because he also said that Jesus already came back. And he, he was like, dude, his theories were as loony as archaics. But he was he, he was equally as smart and, and like crazy, dude. There was this, oh, but he before, just disappeared. I remember. Way before. What do, you, what do you think of archaics, Robbie? Dude, I called, I called him a complete donkey piece of shit. <laughs> like, date. <laughs> Too. I was like, Day two. <laughs> I, he said, all this guy does is talk. Like, and he uses, he just talks. Like, it's just the most ridiculous shit ever. Like, you can't, after one minute, you don't even know what he just said. It's like, what the oh, fuck? It's, it's nuts, like, dude. But what, what do you think about He's a clown. About, what do you think about that everyone just I was, loves it? I was That's crazy to me. Like, one day. What Good was day, that? One. Appreciate you. What do you think about all these people that just gobble we'll it? We'll... Oh, the Wi-Fi is skipping out again. Dude, that... I'm right here. I, I think I think they're just fucking retards. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't yeah, know other way to say it. You right now, bro. Like, I, I'm not sure what happened to people's brains, but like I was questioning everything, and that's why I got like into this like seven years ago. But he was like day two, like such a retard. I was like, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Yeah, so the similicom on top. Of... Yeah, you can't even. I say mean, the I give him credit, right. dude. I seen the word similicom in a article today about something else, and I didn't know. I forgot what it was about, but I had never seen it referenced anywhere before it's, that. It's simulacrum. Santos corrected him. Ryler and the. Well, yeah, there's a fa Santos. there's a famous book that inspired the Matrix film, which was simulac simulacrum and and simulation. By Bulliard. Yeah. I think it was in one of the uh, 10K hoax death uh, articles. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you got boosted points that out that the, the using that word doesn't even make sense. Okay. Because the simulacrum is like just an image. None of it makes sense, dude. It doesn't have to make None sense. None of it makes sense. It doesn't I mean, have to. Is, it just has to make them feel good. to be at NASA. So. He's basically just a compilation of all the different theories with new names. Everything. We got Tartarian Truth in the house. Wait, before we go on, Tartarian yeah, Truth, I mean, would you like to address Niven's claim that you are a woman, a reverso <laughs> female to male, wearing a fake beard? What do you, what do you say to that? I would say be on the lookout for that guy because he's doing some top-tier research. Just <laughs> make sure you subscribe to him Damn. if you haven't already. You got. He got you, bro. Niven, <laughs> top of the game no, no. right now. Damn. I think Niven. Yeah. I'm not at 100% least. At sure. least I wasn't tagged in that video. <laughs> yeah, you were. You you were on the cover. The yeah. that <laughs> Niven the dude. Me. I'm pretty sure he's the dude. When you go to Reddit and look up archaics, it's Robert Neve. <laughs> this dude is like up his ass so hard on Reddit. <laughs> I think that that's Niven. 
but I don't know. Yeah, for sure. so yeah, in case you don't know, uh, uh, Tartarian Truth, uh, he's been going after Drew for for a long time. <laughs> Niven has, yeah, yep. yeah. He, we were friends Niven, for a minute. Niven, uh, wasn't Niven the one that said I was Russian vids? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this guy's this guy has bad discernment. You <laughs> and then I think he was involved with this weird click on IG for a long time. I think I think he can't. I think I think he goes all the way back to when we, me and Drew were doing IG live streams. He might. It seems like he can't uh, communicate well. It was really hard to tell what he was even talking about with that video. I had no I was idea. Confused. Without reading the comments, no, yeah, he, he was totally like he, none of it made any sense, right? Like. I don't know. It's the like images cats. that he was showing is like, what What are you... Cats are, you are female dreaming? detectives. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, dude? He's on that female Illuminati uh, The theory. reversals. Everyone's a reverse. Alter. Yo. Yeah. I feel like we missed out on the Archaics van vlog, the last one with the beef with the elderly. I was working oh, a lot of dude. dudes to make a video about it, but did you guys see that one? Yeah. Oh, Is yeah! It when the when the old when the old people were wrapped up in the back of the van, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. He said he, he said he like shows up at their front door and he's like, I don't know what they're thinking when I'm standing out there. It's like, dude, what do you think they're thinking? Like he just shows up unannounced to their house after having problems with them, and I guess he just gives them their money back or something. And he's talking about hey, charging it's... people a thousand dollars for some Christmas lights and shit. Yeah, he's it's like, not. It's not like, his fault that you can only plug in 137 <laughs> Christmas lights. <laughs> uh, the AIX fine structure constant, guys. Big up, Robin. <laughs> What's up, Robin? Hey, is my mic working now? Yeah, now we yes, can hear you. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, no, I want to oh, yeah. ask Robin. Me Robin, real quick, how come you're never offended? A lot of these people get so offended so quickly. Oh, one second. Let me shut the computer so I can hear you. Sure. Are you there? Yep. Oh, I don't Hello. know. Because uh, most people are just being funny. If you can't take a joke, you know. Thank you. <laughs> Robin, are All you of you guys. There's too many on this channel to shout out, but... All the goofster and gaffsters in your community always making me laugh. And uh, I wanted to just come on and say shout out to Benton for handling Jack Talcott the other day. He did a good job. I'm sure you guys saw it. Yeah, Are you Canadian, Robin? Utah. No, but I've heard that before. Minnesota mm -hmm. or Canadian. I think I just have a lazy tongue. Gotcha. You just sound oh. extra white is what they're saying. <laughs> extra white oh <laughs> that's good well um yeah, i called in i was going to call into jeff doherty's live stream yeah and right as i was going to call um talcott guy, right? jack talcott called in and i recognized his voice and i thought oh no and it kind of made me sour i didn't want to call in and i just wrote in the chat i said it sounds like miserable jack talcott and they didn't identify him and he jumped off the call and instantly said miserable huh and i logged <laughs> out because i'm like oh i don't want to make that guy mad i don't know robin what did you think of that he's not Je one to argue with what did you think of that uh, ben Daughtry says he likes stream. to argue with women that what jack you, does what did you think of that jeffrey daughtry stream robin so Benton should go back to the man on the street approaching women. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Those are classic. those are the best interviews I've seen. I mean, the dude like got a whole entire like professional rig set up to do that. Yeah. Like, I'm still waiting for that to to be. How you doing, man? Yeah, yeah you notice when hard. he goes when he, when he was making those videos, he's in these like really sleepy towns where. Where yeah. confrontation's not really a thing, and he's just like bullying people everywhere he goes. Like a fool with that mask on your face. Yeah, there's like nobody around. Yeah, why don't you come down to Metropolitan down here in Atlanta, 
and, and go to the go to the liquor store with uh let's see how that works out for you buddy nah, i need oh, a very nice Press Press reverse on on. Age. look at that uh, fake beard that, that does that and they <laughs> do it's it now, okay hold up hold up hold up look hold at up. that fake so we're gonna have to have zero. we're gonna have to have a vote who has the best hair uh tartarian truth or tinfoil <laughs> oh you better show them up tin well, well yeah, we can win this one. Up, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. The Tartarian he... Truth, your name is Shem? Yeah. <laughs> Are you a Jew? Shem, like the spaceship? like the. Wait, the wait, ancient, wait. Are you a Jew? Is that a Jew name? No. It's a Jew name, but I'm not a Jew. Okay. okay I'm not a Jew. Sounds subversive, but I'll believe you. I've, I w- I've been looking into some of the Jewish stuff recently, though, because... I'm seeing all this stuff about kind of with, like what the Antarctic thing, how people say one thing and then you look into it and it's not really true. But the right. lingo is very confusing. I will say that. So you're hey, so, so, sh- so you believe Shem, in the now that we got you on here, let me pick your brain for a minute. Now that we finally got you on live here, um, wh- uh, what what triggered you to start doing the these parodies that you were doing? Uh, nothing in particular, I guess. Like. I did want to wise up because that dude is hilarious as hell. Oh yeah, yeah. I ever did, and I kind of just was messing around with it to see if you know if it was fun or whatever. And uh, after that, I just enjoyed it. Then I did a John Levi parody, and I was like, I don't know, I just thought it was fun. Just like a, a good way to deal with, I guess, extra stress and stuff. And then one thing led to another, and it started getting deeper, I guess, as it went on. I don't know. Yeah, so the the first time that I found out about archaics was from your par- from your parody, <laughs> the Loki, was, <laughs> the the Loki one. That's how I found out about fucking archaics. I was like, oh my god, and I said I sent it straight to Drew. I'm like, dude, bro. Yeah, is that the one where you were driving and you're like the Valkyries and the Phoenix or whatever? <laughs> yeah, yeah watch that. It's a weird he says in his video there, like that's the hilarious part about it. I, I, someone sent it to said like. I, I did a thing saying, like, who should I parody next? And someone sent me him. And I just happened to click on that <laughs> video first. And I was cracking up. I was like, dude, is this a real video? Like, is this guy being serious? The so, Vikings and Valkyries. I forget who suggested him, but shout out to you. Yeah, so uh, even Eve Butthole Winkler's on it, too, as well in the chat. He says that uh, Tartarian Truth is Penguin's... Oh, oh, I don't even know how to say his name. But Those are my buddies have been saying in real life, too. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Wait, who got, is it? I'm gonna pull it up. Who is it? Uh, it it's in the chat. It's uh, it's penguins with a Z and Q U I Z zero. They're saying this big, is Tartarian truth. Pull That's what I was saying. Though. That's who he is. That's who he is. We got him right here on our live right now. If I look like big a time. Celebrity. Oh yeah, that's the same. Uh, Twelve million views. Twelve million subscribers. <laughs> oh go. yeah, yeah. I, I've seen that guy. He does like. Oh, dude! Subs, I got dude. them right side by side. Look Damn. on the look on the the screen, man. How can I make this bigger? Hold on. God. Damn. <laughs> got him. Twelve million views. So you play games or something in the day, and then at night you roast uh, truthers. Exactly. No, but it I wasn't. Like he does the same was... thing that we do: is listen to all these morons all day long at work, <laughs> and then. I just how do you, how do you like how do you I'm just interested like in seriousness how do you um like catalog and compile the clips to keep track because I'm terrible at you know like I'm a new folder in a new folder in a new folder <laughs> inside a new folder inside another new folder kind of guy and I'm just wondering how do you how do you keep track of all the clips to where you can go back and edit them and make these videos that you make. I make everything on my phone, so I have little albums on my phone of the clips because I usually just screen capture them, but I recently found out that you can just go to Odyssey and download the videos directly from there, so it's a lot easier now. But Oh, you can download and then edit them after you... Okay. Yeah, you go to Odyssey, there's like a little menu to download any video that's on there, I guess. So I've been doing that for the, la- the last couple, but before that I was just screen capturing them. Sometimes I still do if I'm that's at work. What I, that's what I do, and then I just lose track. You can and go to, like, like, there's mess. a thing called snapsave.io. That's what I use. It'll let you get it in HD right off YouTube. You just clip the YouTube okay. link in there. But so yeah, I think what, I, I what I do you use, use like, on your uh, phone to edit? Just the standard uh, uh, editing? 
if it's called kind master but they recently updated it to kind master six and it's like extremely mid i'm hoping they don't close down five because then i'll have to figure something else out but uh yeah i just while i'm at work i usually listen to these guys and if something like really makes me stop working and i just crack up i'll immediately <laughs> scream right there other times if it's kind of funny i'll just do like a quick you can because on the iphone you can screen capture really quick so i'll take right. a quick shot for later and then i'll check out the timestamp and see what it says yeah, you but got I'll, you. You were able to get that archaics intro the other day before they deleted it because he deleted it pretty quick. I was like, "Damn, I hope Tartarian <laughs> Truth gets it." The one where he was roasting Matt, like, "Man, we yeah. can't get any good help <laughs> around here." <He> so... <laughs> They're so oh, he, like the, so, that like, last one aggressive. that you put out was so good, like pointing out all those weird moments where like Jason wouldn't even make eye contact with Matt. Yeah, that was super weird. <laughs> He's standoff. Yeah, it's like, like you can feel the energy coming from it. And it's funny because you know they watch our videos for whatever reason. So it's <laughs> like, like they're also seeing this. I just wonder what when they see. This is what I've, I've said before. I feel at this point, I feel like Jason is just making like content for you at this point like, <laughs> oh, he's in like I, it's like he knows that yeah. he's being stupid and he knows that you're gonna make a parody of it like, hey, uh, it looks like jason Bashirs has joined he's the, in the here. discord the milk from <laughs> he's in the voice range oh, what's, what's up, up jason? jason talk to me the smilla crumer oh uh, that's <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. When, yeah. When, when did the yeah? And I'm cool start? with that's that. Like a, that's like a new thing. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not. It's not though. It's not he, though. He, he comes off as like almost like the way Sylvester Stallone carries himself in his latest movies, like that kind of like I don't know, like ebonic <laughs> style. A long time no see. <laughs> it's it's hard to explain, but he's always like yeah, man. Like it's, you know, yeah. like cool, like jazzy. They come, you know, you guys, you guys misrepresent me, and I get real good subscribers from that. Yeah. <laughs> AIX bringing so much happiness to us. <laughs> yeah, anything that goes wrong in your life or live stream, just AIX, I guess. BT did mention making the Yeah remix, which would oh, be good. Oh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that, um, well, what I want personally the most is for the big enchilada shout out to the big enchilada i hope you're in the chat uh i want the big enchilada because he makes these amazing ytp edits of uh jurassic liars i really want him to do an archaics ytp edit with the with the yeah uh the it's going down the i'm cool with that you know all the catchphrases which i think would just be fantastic Someone asked them a question during the stream. They're like, without using any of your catchphrases, please tell us. I think it was like what the errands are, <laughs> the first of life, or what. I think it was so funny. He's just he in here, and he's just in here listening to us right now. He's just like, yeah, he's in here right him. now. Jason Bree Shears. Yeah, anytime he just goes on this, the most nonsensical rant, all he just has to do is end it with a yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, yeah, J- Jason Brashears, I have children under 21 in the house. I don't know if you're allowed 5,000 feet in this stream or not. <laughs> oh, he had to dip, oh, man. Not- he wasn't allowed. Had to get out. He had wasn't to get allowed out. no more. Well, Jason, if you're still listening, um, we're about to uh, look deep into that neighborhood you live in because when you had that power <laughs> outage, we looked into that, and then I found out that the entire neighborhood is all sex offenders. Literally. Which is per- Literally, and it was the only neighborhood that didn't have power. They literally shut the power off to the sex offender neighborhood. Wh- I think that's are, pretty white strange. White hats are in control. There has yeah. been. I mean, this is a main, this is a mainstream <laughs> figure, but they say this year has had more power outages uh, and attacks on power stations than any other year. Yo, what's oh, going yeah, on? The, the 420 sub, bro the substation here. attacks. 420 that- bros just just blazing it up on the stream. Hell bro. yeah. It's pick. Bro, dude. Backwoods, yeah. bro. Yeah, I got gotta celebrate. Are you feeling it, bro? Are you feeling it? Yeah, bro? I'm hot and this drain gang up in here, guys. Old, old Discord. Yeah, the, o- the OG OG Discord. 
Pick his Drain energy. gang, bro. Echo 2K, bro. <laughs> he was the one yeah. that he's like, look up this drain aesthetic. He taught me about that. <laughs> yeah, we shout need drain. drain gang. Yeah, shout out. You look like some guy that would want to date my oh, daughter, fuck. Pick. She's 21. Almost. Oh, shit. Almost. How old are you, Pick? Do what? How old are you? I'm 24. <laughs> Yeah, you look like you'd want to date my daughter. She's 21. I'm not trying to hook you up or nothing, but I'm just saying you look like... Oh, that. yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, you don't want this guy anywhere near your daughter. Okay, no, bro? I know. Oof. <laughs> Oof. None of these guys. Yeah, how, how old are you, Tartarian Truth? <laughs> Shem, how old are you? Oh, I'm in my 30s. How old do okay. you think I was? Younger than that. I thought 20s. Well, people think that I'm like 70, so. <laughs> but listen, yeah. guys, it's just an bad. avatar. You That's bad. all that matters. It doesn't matter. I don't it doesn't a, matter. I don't give a shit about this avatar. I'll eat all the honey buns I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking about that avatar shit, did any of you see that clip I posted? I tried to post it to you, Drew, of that ad that I saw of that black dude. No. This shit was wild. What was it? It was just a. It was just an ad that popped up on YouTube, and it was just just a normal like a trying black, to sell you like a webinar or something. A black and an ad, no way. The guy's not. It's not. He's not real. Oh, it's, I I saw what you're talking about. I didn't click it though. Let me see if I can find it. It's like a CGI or something. Yeah, I think I have it. Yeah, post it somewhere. Let's see if I can. Let me see if I Rocky can do looking it. like a damn N64 CGI right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. I'm a real boy. Damn KGB N64 <laughs> agent right there. And we got Jason Brashears up in the house, bro. Right, the in, we're trading this motherfucker. He, he's he in here right now using that search bar and searching archaics. <laughs> Taking notes of yeah. everything we said. Yeah, we don't give people quizzes when you join the server here. <laughs> yeah, you, you can gotta, just join you and do and an then... entire pop quiz to get in the server just because Phoenix Protocol got roasted once. I can't find that search bar on his website. I don't know where it went. Like, did you take it down or something? Or am I uh, okay? The they they did take it down, but you got there's an actually an archaics wiki now, and you can look <laughs> it up on the archaics oh, wiki. God. I'm all over this motherfucker. Here, Krakow's got something. What is it? I think. Okay, this see is the brother. Point. As long as the as long as the volume works, we're good. Well, you don't need the volume. Hey, All right, Drew, I'm out of here, man. Happy birthday, bro. I appreciate you. Peace. Later, dude. So this is like a CGI dude. Yeah, just just listen to like yeah, how. Yeah, can't like, hear just, it. <laughs> you can't no hear. Volume, you can't hear though. it. No, there's no volume. I make good pay. Oh wait, there. I hear it. Into truck insurance and maintenances, with little left for me and my family to live on. Life was so hard. <laughs> my pain point that stirred me to the direction of starting oh, yeah, this. Fake. I don't know. I think that's Cap. That looks like a real dude acting like he's. CGI. No, that shit's fake. Yeah, that's fake. <laughs> okay, if this guy's not real, does he still get the N-word pass? <laughs> that's the re that's yeah. the ethical question I want to know about AI. No, he. I mean, yeah, he could. Yeah, I think we all get it. Hey, once they get <laughs> reparations, we all get the N word pass. In my opinion, <laughs> that's how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I still haven't been forgiven. I still, I mean, by Christians. After they get their money, after they get their money, it's uh, it's all we, you know. Turn whatever. Did <laughs> we'll you turn guys turn see it. the video of Matt driving around his hometown the other day? Of who? Matt, quantum of conscience. He was driving around his hometown, oh. like King of Prussia or something like that. He was yeah. like, in, in the Zion. Yeah, he, he was, was like Zion X. I saw the, the Zion XB with the recall airbags that he won't get taken <laughs> care of because he thinks they're going to install tracking computer chips in his in his Zion. <laughs> and it was funny because oh, yeah. just like the other day, somebody <laughs> there was a news report. Of somebody that died because they refused 800 different attempts uh, for the recall <laughs> company to, to get the rare bags recalled. 
<laughs> I was like, oh shit. Did Matt die? Because he didn't get the airbags done on the Zion? Yeah. He just drives around and like bitches about all the shopping centers and pretends like it's so weird that there's shopping centers in his town or something. And King of Prussia, guys. That's yeah, the he... name. King of Prussia. Yeah, he always likes, like, every time he mentions it, it's like, yeah, dude, we know you live in King of Prussia. You've told That's us literally that. probably the first time he's been out. Hey, he probably has. Has. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you know about the deep dives that me and Drew have done on <laughs> QSD. Um, Matt Earth. But we've gone extremely deep on this dude. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, ridiculously I deep on this dude to where <laughs> Balls deep, no he, homo. Balls deep, like, <laughs> like this guy controls a radio transmission tower. Like, there we've gone so qual- deep on this. There's a Qualcomm radio tower right. next to his house, and he is a kidnap and ransom insurance agent and specialist. Yep. Right, right, and that's one of the crazy things. I don't know if you've seen that. We we did a stream. One of the streams we did on our cakes. Drew had a list of the uh, Matt <laughs> to, to, to Jason's off. synchronicities, right? And it's so funny that Jason uh, claims that he went to jail for kidnapping. And, well, Matt happens to be one of the top guys in the world for kidnapping ransom insurance. <laughs> what the hell? Kind of strange. Yeah. Kind of strange, just saying. I think but then his, crazy, his fans will say, because we call them Matt Earthers. Is 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 a thing that we that we came up with, but uh, they will come and attack us and say, "Oh, he's just a he's just he was just a regular insurance agent. Yeah, he's just trying to pay the bills. Just, just how did he pay the bills? He always talks about how his channel is like ten years old or something. I don't I don't I'm not familiar with the beginning of his channel. What did he? Okay, what was he, he posting? Was a, he was originally he called. Had, he had a different name before. It was called yeah, Texas originally Shrug. he was like a political kind of commentator, a pundit, or whatever. It was a right wing. Kind of Russian based, Limbaugh the little bit type. Of clips I've seen, it yeah. was kind of based. Yeah, Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck was yeah. one of his yeah. big, big motivators. Yeah. yeah. So he, he went on Fox he, News. He's been on Fox News. QOC's okay. been on Fox News. Fact. He's been Army on Boy. InfoWars. Fact. Uh, he he wrote his, the first book was Texas uh, Shrugged. Yeah. Um, About Texas seceding from the Union. Yeah. So he and yeah, then he had it, a major flip, and that, that's oh. when he wrote the first Quantum of Consciousness book or whatever. And before I the still book, don't quite understand that. I still whole, say the whole before the book, he was on fire, bro, and he was like super cutting edge before the book. Yeah, and then the book it, hit, a, and there the was trick. like the whole book saga, and then it seemed like after the book, it was like downhill after that. We started trolling him like three years ago, and then he's been unhinged since. Can so he bring, shouted out. He shouted out, back? Drew. Yeah, can we please bring Matt back because this archaic shit's out of control. So the first yeah. time I heard of archaic, someone back. said in the chat, like, you need to look up archaics. It's Matt on steroids, and he meant like the fans of it and the theory and everything. And it couldn't be a better explanation of it. Like the way he EBT said the fans would attack us. It's the same with archaics, but even worse and stuff. Oh yeah, it's a whole it's a whole different ball it's game. A Next video called uh, Dark Socrates, if I were the devil, where he like <laughs> he pretty much explained that what he would do in a position of power and right. it sounds exactly like what the errands do for him. Yeah, like, exactly. It's almost like he's just saying what he does with his own following and that's, that's why you, dude. Him, so. That's you. <laughs> no, yeah. that's you. <laughs> yeah. Look at the fucking mirror, Matt, dude. Matt from Quantum of Conscience, not Matt May. Archaic's butt yeah. buddy, not that dude. Matt from How long yeah, no, no, we've 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 gone so deep on we went so deep on Matt that we just destroyed this dude and <laughs> but he never he 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 would he he um uh he would passive aggressively very passively aggressive. aggressively like attacks our claims and stuff but never like he never goes him. in deep to it but after he's been on a spiral since and like it's we're really rooting, for, we're rooting for Matt here synchronicity. in this battle. I want to see Matt just body archaics. Yeah, I just want I want Matt to come. I want Matt to be back on top. I want Matt to be back on top. 
Well, maybe the cat died now. We'll light a fire under his ass. The dead cat. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> there's this thing called uh, kung fu golf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Tartarian yeah, Truth you can make a Tartarian hilarious. Truth, you gotta look up Kung Fu it? Golf, dude. Kung Fu Golf. <laughs> Never heard of so, it. Let me so you. Matt, Matt has like this huge trail of all these different like channels and businesses and all this weird shit that he did. This, but one of the big things he did was this thing called Kung Fu Golf, and it was applying Kung Fu techniques <laughs> to your golf skills. It's still on YouTube. And it's what's, still what's on crazy YouTube. is it's so easy to find, and it's <laughs> like a channel. Like, he says the channel home. is called about pissed on breadcrumbs, and then he has all these pissed on breadcrumbs. So much pissed on breadcrumbs. It's un- un- unreal the amount of pissed on breadcrumbs. Same thing it, with Jason. Is it, is it called Long Drive Academy? Like yes. embarrassment, yes. ceremony, yeah, whatever Academy. bullshit level. You can see it's him. I mean, yeah, it's definitely yeah. him. With this the, one little he's, the one that he's holding the fucking sword. <laughs> and the nunchucks. Not... He's got some nunchuck skills. Ah. Oh, yeah. He's You're going to come well, at he's us one day. But he thinks I live specialist. in Skokie, so I think I'm okay. Um, Dude, he's, he's, gonna, he's, he's the kidnapper, I think. Or maybe he breaks you out of the kidnap prison or something. And he's got a baddie in one of them, though. Scope out insurance companies who's written a, like, really high insurance claim and then just, like, scope out them. What's his fucking... Well, you know... Dower uh, Network. Snyder did... A, he did a great video on Matt when he was breaking down uh, kidnapping ransom insurance and stuff. Jeff Snyder, too, would- yeah. You know, but that's the truth. I mean, like, it's not, that's not a regular thing. You know, he's not Jared from State Farm. And it, I think it ties directly into that tower that he lives right next to. He sends, when you go over to Mogadishu or whatever, he uses that tower to send some kind of like, you know, clearance yeah. for you to go over there after you pay him. And then it's a government tower that works on government frequency. And it's when you look up his, kidnapping ransom insurance business the address shows it as that tower it's endless i think that's really one of our most masterful most masterful exposés that we've we've ever gotten well into. they got a it is yeah they're just <laughs> on bread crumbs davy's got it up <laughs> was he ever married no, no i don't think oh. he's ever been laid dude <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, Pam's got him in the permanent friend zone. I mean, she probably smashed, but he's... Look at that. Look at that. Thinking he's probably gay. Would you? <laughs> like, no, never. Look at this dude. So we, we <laughs> speculate that this uh... girl, right? We speculate the girl's still trapped in his basement somewhere. <laughs> I, nah, he was wanting this chick, for sure. Option. Look at her back fat. She just did, like, a, mat- a cut. A 20 mat- cut. Though? I mean, he's still got Pam leftovers from fucking Thanksgiving he's got to work on. (laughs) Yeah, this woman is missing, I bet. I bet she's gone. Yeah, Yeah. yo, yo, uh, Drew, you need to see if you can uh, prime my... Find find that one. I'll search the the metadata. Let's get back back to to our... uh... Now back to our regularly scheduled stream. (laughs) <laughs> what did you guys come on to originally talk about how long you've been streaming i don't know so it's your birthday almost it's a birthday yeah it's my birthday i just kind of went happy live. birthday happy birthday dude I appreciate it thank you 44 44 old man oh, oh. 44. old man yeah, it's on, the, on the numbers yep i gotta let you know who i work for yeah Double that up. That's with the keys of the piano. You guys know where it all leads. Yep, exactly. White hats are in control. That yep, all makes sense. Sealed and It's a matter of time. Waiting they for that uh, EBS to come through. <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> Nasira Jasira, any day now. Any when day. When you drop in your uh, Femeca video, EBC. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if I was motivated, I probably could make some stuff. That Jonathan James guy you're talking about earlier, he he took down that Flamenco playlist. 
I don't oh, know did why. he really? Yeah, he does that Obri project thing. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, Obri but... project's like super interesting, but like what at is the same that? time, I like... don't know what that is. What is it? Uh, so he like breaks. He has this whole idea of what like Paleo Hebrew language is, right? Because like we don't know what Hebrew really is, um, because Doesn't what we're told is Hebrew is kind of more of a modern invention. So like he tries to break down what he thinks is paleo hebrew so like he has like a whole different concept of the language of the bible as well as like the geography of the bible but the other interesting thing about that guy is he's an ex-con as well <laughs> i didn't know that part he yeah that's They're where that's where he learned all this stuff but he he did a whole bunch of videos originally he did like fominko um like he did all the, the phantom time theory like he did all like really in depth, deep dives into uh, a lot of these theories and stuff. So he he was pretty interesting. The Obri project is is somewhat interesting. I don't know how credible it is because um, it seems it, like it's, he's the only guy that's really doing it. Because but... I found him because I was looking for that Fomenko audio book, and I, that's how I found it, found his channel. And I listened to some of the Obri videos, and I was like, eh, it's interesting. But you probably have to sit down and actually you know write some stuff down and compare it instead of just actually listening to what he's saying for it to make yeah. sense. Maybe. Yeah, I just don't know how it is. Yeah, go to jail first, bro. <laughs> What's up with that? Yeah, what is up with that? So strange. So like, it's, it's part. It's a, it's like a rite of passage. The prison to you. I mean, we could get a cork board with red string and really start connecting all these people. I mean, this is part what we've been saying. There's a. It's a big club. Yeah, 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 yeah it's a big club. There's no, a, there's central nodes. Um, there is a, this is a project I'm interested in. It all goes back you to know, Owen. Connected. Owen's a major central node for all these. He, it all goes back to that. Alex Jones, really. Yeah, yeah. Well, Titus, well, Titus did that Infowars documentary. He did link a lot of these people up. Um, but there's more to go. There is more there, to go. There's this one channel that used to do videos a long time ago and he's associated with um um we've read the documents i know davey knows that channel um, yeah yeah but i read old magazines he did like really deep dives and like really connecting like all these personalities and like where all their connections come to like it's really insane how you find out that all these people are connected what do you guys think about jordan peterson I have thoughts. Go ahead, Cracker. Go ahead, yeah. All right, so my my initial theory was going to be like, and maybe it was a plant from the get go. That's always there on the surface. You could always go with that one. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't original and came out some somewhere, he got co-opted and moved because now he's full on the daily wire i mean i think he's on his third trip to israel third dinner with benjamin netanyahu um but the benzos are a big part of it um a drug addiction um like he really has a i think he has like a withdrawal psychosis where he's kind of losing a little bit of his mind, so he's not as sharp as he once was. Because he's really he's really concerning himself. If you've watched his post over the last maybe month or so, it's all about what's in his YouTube comments or what people are saying on Twitter. It's like guy that's done like that much has that many subs, has that many events. Shouldn't have the time to be scrolling through that many comments looking for negative things like yeah it's Especially bizarre pushes on other people too i, I really and, uh, liked I, I never paid much attention to him i really enjoyed his like old testament ser like lectures and stuff i thought were really great and some of the stuff that he does with uh jonathan pajot is pretty good stuff um it gets really into the weeds but mostly that the the Jim Bob's impersonation of Jordan Peterson is probably one of the best out there, really. I don't get, know if anybody... Get Jim Bob on, on here, aren't you, his boy? Jim Jim Bob will come on here. I know he will come on here. Get him, if we get him on him the do. next live stream we do. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll ask him. I'll ask him. It's just the thing about he ignores me in the live chat Jordan now. But... 
What was that? I have a big problem with Jordan Neither. Peterson. I don't know who you asked. Sorry. You don't like him, pick? Is that what you said, pick? You don't like him? Well, I have a problem with his stance on God. He doesn't seem to be very He's a consequential in that, I guess. Yeah, he he gets in the weeds a lot when it comes to giving straight answers. I guess it's hard to, but like, he's gonna convert to Judaism. He, yeah, to me too. Even matter. You're breaking up a little, pig. It was for a second. Oh, well, I, well, I was finished. Uh, okay. I, my problem was just that he doesn't seem to have a very a clear stance on what he thinks of God. Or God's well, he nature. allegorizes everything, basically. Yeah, yeah, and he gets very fra he, he fra everything's fractal. So, like, you know, it's like Bill Clinton. What the definition of is is like? Right. Like, well, that's yeah. why then you, if you listen to any of the stuff he does, like when he, when Peterson, Pajot, uh Vander Clay and the other guy, I can't remember his name right now, when they get to talking, it's like the most word salad that you'll ever hear yeah, when they yeah, start yeah. talking about. It, none of it makes any sense. They're just saying words and stuff like uh it, it's really insane. I mean it's worse than it's worse than Ken Willer, you know, cool. talking about magnetism when you get all those guys together, like it's total nonsense. Just but it just lot. everything's an allegory, you know. It's just none yeah. of it means anything. Essentially, the further you look into what they're talking about, and, and I mean, a lot of people praised Peterson early on because he like he really was pivotal for a lot of people to move out of uh, atheism to 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 believe in God and stuff like that. But then it kind of hit like a he's definitely like the definition of gatekeeper, really. He's a bottleneck. Bot yeah, is. yeah. Bottleneck's a good, yeah, good way to say. Exactly. It. Yeah, sure. He's always giving life advice to people and preaching all this stuff for like self help. I mean, and everything. And everybody should wash their penis yeah. and clean their room. I mean, that's not bad advice. No, it's good advice, but it's just like how valuable is it when the guy's so right. depressed, <laughs> barely even hang on to his own life? He's like talking about like wanting to die and stuff in this interview I saw a couple weeks ago. I don't know how old it was, but I was just like, wow. I think that's the, the, and I'm just speaking from experience. And he had way more experience because he has a lot more money, knows a lot more doctors, can do a lot more. I think he went so hard on um, some of these drugs that, I mean, the story that he tells, the official story is that he went to a Toronto hospital and woke up two months later strapped to a bed in Toronto. Doesn't remember anything. <laughs> Big enchiladas in here. Oh, he King. called them the god of incels. Peter Stein. <laughs> Jordan Peter Shout Stein. Out Big enchilada. We're waiting for that archaic YTP edit, by the way. We yeah. talked about you earlier in case you weren't Yeah, here. Big Enchilada. We need we need you, bro. What it's going uh, down? Tartarian Truth, have you ever looked into that God gave lamps to Crater Earth, dude? <laughs> yeah, that would be a great one. I have I haven't looked into his history or anything like that, but I have seen a lot of his videos. I, I did one parody of him, but uh, I don't know. It just gets it gets so hard to listen to after a while because oh, I don't know how far his playlist. But eventually, he like for some reason gets obsessed with this Nirvana song, and he plays it like every five seconds in this one video. And I was just at work, like ready to slam my head through the wall. I was like, yeah, so. I think it's already a parody. That that it, whole it like it. yeah, he's like talking about how the night skies like puddles and it's reflecting individual s little lights of like different worlds or something I, I don't it's very hard to follow and then he adds in random jokes like about the nazis and stuff and then he started talking about how <laughs> oh, opening portals has levi made a video since the video oh, i think he's done <laughs> He's, no, he's not he's not doing another drop until the first tartarian truth ended him he oh. went on he went on eddie bravo and tartarian truth just bodied him it's over i think now i don't we'll think see. i don't think you meant what if he's that? actually watching the stream well, jump you, in jump man. in the live chat levi when you Some people letting nice hey. 
and you give out a date of when your next video is going to be, that is the beginning of the end. <laughs> you know it's going to be two weeks at least. <laughs> You're like, damn, I'm not doing a video until this day. It's weird because he doesn't he doesn't have a job. He doesn't have the coffee shop anymore. So why is he not making more videos than when he in the coffee shop? Dude, that like that, that Edgar Reyes, dude. I wish I would have read more of his like blog on the stream that I did about him on his Manosphere blog or his MGTOW blog. Because I re I read I only before I did the stream I kind of like scrolled to the middle and read like a couple of paragraphs just to make sure it was him and. Then when I read the stream, it started getting raunchy. But if I would have kept reading it, it was, <laughs> dude, it got even worse. It's like, yeah, she wanted to suck my dick, but I wanted to fuck her in the ass and <laughs> shit. I'm like, damn it, man. That would have been gold if I would have kept reading it. That was amazing to wake up to that day. That dude's something else, man. That Edgar Reyes. At least he was normal, though, about like all that. He wasn't a weirdo about it. Yeah, it seems like he's genuinely like, for some reason is trying to do that Antarctica trip too. Cause he sent me some more stuff on Instagram. He was talking about like, <laughs> we could get in touch with this organization. I was like, man, like, I don't know if you're being like, I don't know if you're, he wants to go to the ice could. wall, man. I don't know. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me, but yeah, he's, he's cool. I, I don't know. He seems cool. <laughs> he's funny. I mean, the, the, the disclaimer makes it fine. Like, you know, just by saying, like, you're the motherfuckers that are... He didn't you know. say that at first, though, but... I mean, you should have been able to tell. Let's... Come on. It's 2022. Well, the thing is about that John Levi video, because I watched the original one that is sourced over or whatever, but the second image has, like, some weird doll AI, obviously AI person <laughs> picture. So, if he, I don't know if he just missed the second picture, because the other ones, I guess you could kind of... Because you know he's smoking probably when he's watching these videos, so he's probably just super stoned. So I, I can see how he could make a mistake, but it's like, damn, dude. I mean, uh, look at this person. That's what he'd be like 200 years old. Mind. That's why he had to be. Like, he was, you know, he's like yelling and stuff. He never, he never talks like that. That's what EBT said. Is like, how is this a channel? It's just a stoner looking at pictures. <laughs> and these people just they love no, but it. Honestly, they I'll love it. It's well, they'll, they'll, they'll attack you like generator. you you've not bringing anything to the table like john's bringing to the table like what have you done for humanity yeah dude <laughs> they say the craziest shit i get the same shit about any topic when you get these large communities that's their go-to like, what have you done what have you done in the like the physical world to like make change i'm like you guys aren't doing shit that goes yeah, back to that goes go back to the money to our bills I'm just like, I don't know, man. Like, did a protest once? I don't know. Yeah, that's like how I started the stream about how it's all about no judgment and everything. And in Archaics chat, I saw one that was like, it said the best thing that could have ever happened was Jason going to prison. Now, for who? For Jason? For humanity? Or for the victim? <laughs> it didn't specify, but it was just like, this is the best possible thing that could have happened. Hopefully for the victim. They're nuts, dude. Good hope. Yeah, that, that hurts my brain so much. When I'm not dreaming, kind of... though. is interesting because I, I forget who said it, but there, there's someone that said it. Like, if you don't dream, it either means you're like a sociopath or you have no, like, you don't have a guilty conscience at all. So those are the two options with Jason. Well, I forget who said it, though. The what way that, that I kind of broke that idea down that he claims that he doesn't, um, that he doesn't dream is he spent time in solitary to where he's afraid to where he doesn't want to release any idea that he's not in control of himself 100% of the time. He can't let his mind go anywhere where he thinks he's not in control about it. That's why he doesn't like psychedelic drugs or any kind of drugs at all, really, because he doesn't think that he's in control. He needs 100% control of his experience at all time. Because he probably experienced some terrible things being in solitary for so long. He just wants to be safe on Santa's lap. <laughs> Everything's okay. Even though, even in one of his recent interviews, I don't remember what it was. I think it was that, maybe it was that Saul Luckman video or whatever. I will or find Or some you. other one. But he said that he, won't, he wants to get in another motorcycle accident so he can experience another transcendent, like, event that he experienced when he crashed his motorcycle the first time 
What a weirdo. Oh. Yeah, that's strange. Like, t- take some acid, dude. Come on. <laughs> like, if you listen to him talk, though, it's like everything he says is almost like a projection. Because I've listened to way more than of his videos than I want to admit, and I'm I'm mostly listening to the audio only. So I feel like I'm oh, yeah, kicking yeah. some of that extra emotion. Maybe I'm not sure, but when he's when he's talking, it's like everything he's saying almost is a projection of how he feels about reality. Like almost every single thing, and it's super weird because you know he's saying some pretty dark stuff. Like he's it's. You can see how him being in prison played a role in it, and you almost feel bad for him. But at the same time, you know, yeah, yeah, the absolutely. Whole, the, the whole theory revolves the whole around thing is about time, right? Yeah. A dude that got sentenced to a shit ton of time, so he had a lot of time to think about it, and everything's based on time. Uh, I think the same thing too. It seems like he has to keep himself really busy. And when you read his other philosophies on the Archaics website, there's that one talked about it last time i can't remember the name now but there's like one that lays out his philosophies and one of them is like yeah i know a lot of you like can't do anything without like step-by-step directions and order and i'll be here to give that to you i'm going to give you a step-by-step list of what to do every day basically is what he said not in those exact words i'm paraphrasing but then that sounds like that's what he does to matt he's like i have this whole list for matt may to do this 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 then this and this So to me, it seems like he has to keep his brain constantly busy and focused on something or else he's going to be raping again. (laughs) Well, yeah, he is a Gemini. And I guess they say Gemini are restless. So maybe (laughs) that plays a role in why he doesn't sleep. And he's also (laughs) like that split kind of personality almost sometimes it seems like. Oh, shit. There's a whole team of people behind putting out. Like when he does these interviews, like it's they're. I don't know. Like all this stuff is, you can tell when he's scripted, whether he's reading it or whether he's memorized it. And then when he goes off script, it's so easy to tell when he goes off script because that's when you get the us. You get a lot of us. <laughs> oh. You know? uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Like he's totally incoherent when he doesn't, when he's off script, right? I think a lot of these Q and a things they do, a lot of it is really taking direct questions, but a lot of it is pre-planned with people that are in the chat already, perhaps or whatever. Yeah. There is stage questions questions that he has prepared answers for. I know it goes on these long diatribes with. That's why these recent ones have been so weird because he has gone on a tangent and almost every response. So it's kind of like, I don't, I don't think these ones have been scripted. And I think it's showing, and it's, and it's even for it. people who are there in the chat, they must be completely oblivious to, to oh, fall they, for it. Because they said he they love it. Doesn't, he doesn't even answer the questions. Yeah. And then on the last well, one, they were they like, think well, he knows every, we like they think the he literally knows everything. Oh, they ask him everything. Like, how the fuck could you know this? Like, how could they have va- sailed in the vapor canopy? How the fuck would he know that? And then he <laughs> answers it like he d- Oh, I, I don't know if I'm down with that with that idea of them sailing in the well, back canopy. Okay, and then in that recent one that was a big red flag too. It's like he's never heard of Kent Hovid and like yeah, I I, I, I said this that. early on in one of the videos that we made about archaics that the vapor canopy is something that's used by Christian fundamentalist creationists, like the people that built that that Noah's Ark uh replica in Kentucky, right? That when it rained, they sued for flood damage, which is hilarious. But uh, so it's like a Christian fundamentalist uh, talking point that is completely discredited. Like e- most creationists won't even use the vapor vapor canopy theory. But for him to act like he doesn't know who Kent Hovid is is completely nonsense. But you know, like and there's so hilarious. Matt's like, <laughs> he's like, I don't know what Matt even looks into, and Matt's like. You know, mainly, uh, mainly I deal with the energies, the frequencies, and the vibrations. <laughs> like, what the, what motherfucker, you need to be watching videos on OBS about, Studio. <laughs> How long yeah. do you think until Matt makes his own channel, though? That's the real question. Oh, man. God damn, that'll be so terrible. No, they'll love oh, it, shit. though. The people the will love it. Well, I, don't want, I, mean, I don't want to jinx this shit, but if that fucking sound actually works and I actually fixed it, we could finally do that stream. Well, yeah, it was working. Yeah. I still have that thumbnail. I'm ready. No, I'm, dude, I'm down too. Like, I was pissed, like, that it would work every single time until I got to you. And then, like, it would just, like, not work. But since it just worked on the fly tonight, 
I'm still waiting for Jason to come back in the chat. He popped in a couple times. I am not CIA, guys. <laughs> All right, man. I probably, should, I probably should get to bed. I got kids. I got babies. Yeah, I feel you. Appreciate you guys. Have a good yeah. night. Yeah, Have good night. Good stream. I think they're uh, opening up the chat. No problem. Thanks Happy for birthday, kicking Drew. it with me for my birthday. Everyone, all you guys Happy here birthday. and everyone that was in the chat, all you guys here. Appreciate all you guys. Uh, Yeah, I guess I'm just going to shut it down and go to bed. I'm tired. Old man here. Officially 44. I wasn't going to cover some of that uh, Mall of America thing that happened the other day, but let's do that Friday. So you want to join me Friday night, I will be back maybe around 9 or 10 o'clock Eastern Time Friday night. Thanks to everyone that was here and all the guests and everyone that came in. I appreciate everyone here. Peace out.